Has the wow signal returned? Scientists have now received very similar signals that finally solve the mystery of the most famous potential alien signal. What they found in the latest observation data from the Arecibo telescope is absolutely astounding. And we clarify whether we can really confirm contact with aliens. Uh, so make sure to stay until the end. Uh, oh, welcome folks. Uh Before we go okay, deeper guys, into this, this news why don't about the wow signal is really right crazy. Now? Maybe then I'll crack my big goal of 100,000 subscriptions before the aliens are here. There aren't many missing. Subscribing is absolutely free. You'll never miss exciting science news again, and you'll be helping me a lot. Thank you very much, guys. August 15th, 1977 is a special date in astronomy. On this day, the Big Ear Radio Telescope at Ohio State University received a signal that still occupies the scientific community today. The astronomer Jerry Eamon was so impressed by the received signal that he wrote WOW at the edge of the computer printout. The birth of the famous WOW signal. For almost half a century, the WOW signal was considered one of the most promising candidates for a message from extraterrestrial civilizations. The signal's characteristics were so unusual that scientists simply couldn't find an explanation. Jerry Eamon himself said, I am convinced that the WOW signal certainly has the potential to be the first signal from extraterrestrial intelligence. Before we discuss the new discovery, please write in the comments what you think. What is the WOW signal about? Aliens or a natural cause? If so, what exactly? Write your best ideas in the comments, and at the end of the video, you can see if you were right. In any case, a research team from the Planetary Habitability Laboratory, led by Professor Abel Mendez, has discovered signals similar to the WOW signal. Is this finally the breakthrough? The definitive contact from aliens. <laughs> The researchers used the latest observational data from the legendary Arecibo telescope for this, which unfortunately collapsed in 2020. With its gigantic 305 meter mirror, Arecibo was one of the most powerful radio telescopes in the world. If you will, it was humanity's sharpest ear for signals from space. It is all the more regrettable that it had to go into astronomical retirement after 57 years of loyal service. The head of the research team, Professor Mendez, explains, we had unexpected results and it was becoming more and more interesting. Our observations between February and May 2020 revealed similar signals near the hydrogen line, although less intense than the original WOW signal. The researchers have analyzed these signals in great detail, transcribed them, and were actually able to decipher a message from the aliens. And it is truly significant. Here it is. Sorry, but the joke just presented itself. But all jokes aside, the scientists found several of these signals and were able to clearly assign them to cold hydrogen clouds. These clouds are like cosmic freezers with temperatures below 100 Kelvin or about minus 173 degrees Celsius. But what causes this signal? This is where it gets really exciting. Researchers suspect that the wow signal was caused by a rare astrophysical event. A cold hydrogen cloud was suddenly excited to glow by the intense radiation of a magnetar, or a so-called soft gamma repeater. Magnetars are like the Nikola Tesla among neutron stars. They have the strongest known magnetic fields in the universe. A magnetar near Earth would likely erase all the credit cards in the world, and probably also the associated passwords, while simultaneously destroying all life on Earth. 2001. And what happens then, after the hydrogen cloud has been stimulated and excited by the magnetar, is called stimulated emission. Imagine a row of neon tubes that suddenly light up at the same time due to a strong power surge. This is how the hydrogen atoms reacted to the magnetar's energy pulses and then discharged synchronously in a bright flash. Professor Mendes explains the wow signal could have been caused by a unique astrophysical event, the sudden brightening of a cold hydrogen cloud due to stimulated emission from a transient powerful radiation source. These rare events could cause hydrogen clouds to briefly glow much more brightly, possibly explaining the transient nature of the wow signal. And to be honest, this explanation is almost as fascinating as the idea of an alien message because nature has presented us with a completely new physical effect here. Particularly interesting is the bandwidth of the signal. It was only about 10 kilohertz, extremely narrow for a natural signal. Imagine the entire radio frequency spectrum as a giant concert hall. Most astronomical sources would sound like a whole brass band playing wildly out of sync. The wow signal, on the other hand, was like a tiny single perfectly played note on a flute. No wonder many astronomers thought about extraterrestrials. 
However, the researcher's new explanation shows that the cosmic nature is indeed capable of producing such precise tones. When the conditions are perfect, hydrogen atoms can function like a cosmic laser. In technical language, this is called a massa, which stands for microwave amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Another exciting aspect is the significance for SETI research, that is, the search for extraterrestrial civilizations. Professor Mendez emphasizes, Our study suggests that the WOW signal is likely to be the first recorded example of a massa-like emission of the hydrogen line. This hypothesis could redefine our understanding of such signals and determine the future search for extraterrestrial life. In other words, we have learned something again that helps us distinguish between natural and artificial signals. Another exciting aspect of the study is the distance of the cold hydrogen clouds. The researchers estimate that the cloud that generated the WOW signal was between 500 and 1200 light years from Earth and it fits perfectly with the measured intensity of the signal. If the source had been further away, the signal would have been much weaker. If it had been closer, it would have been even stronger. And that the scientists have now found similar, albeit weaker signals in the Arecibo data, is a real breakthrough. They were even able to determine the exact properties of the hydrogen clouds. The temperature is, as mentioned, 173 degrees, and the linear polarization is less than 10. For everyone who never paid much attention in physics class, these are exactly the properties one would expect for such a natural maser effect, 2001. And the discovery could even have far-reaching consequences if cold hydrogen clouds can be stimulated to such intense radiation by magnetic outbursts. The phenomenon should also occur in other galaxies. With modern radio telescopes, such as the Square Kilometre Array in Australia and South Africa, we might be able to detect such wow signals from other galaxies millions of light years away. This would give us completely new ways to study the distribution of cold hydrogen in the universe. But there is still an important question. Why has the signal never been observed again? Maybe it was indeed something from aliens? Well, imagine trying to see lightning strike the same place twice almost impossible. It is already incredibly unlikely for lightning to strike the same place even once. That does happen. The conditions for such an event must be perfect. A cold hydrogen cloud must be hit by a strong burst of radiation and then emit the radiation precisely in the direction of the Earth. This probably happens quite rarely. The story of the WOW signal shows once again how fascinating reality can be. Sometimes the true phenomena of the universe are just as amazing as the idea of aliens sending messages to us. And who knows, maybe these intelligent civilizations have already discovered hydrogen cloud lasers as a means of communication, like a kind of galactic game of telephone. So maybe there is a message in this supposedly natural cause after all. And she wants to come in peace. I will of course keep you updated on all further insights regarding cosmic signals. If you don't want to miss anything, remember to subscribe to the channel now. And now let's switch from cosmic signals to volcanic ones. We now know that the global climate was massively influenced by a volcanic eruption and the effects reached as far as Germany and we can still feel them right now. If you want to learn everything about the exciting topic of volcanoes and climate, then click on the top right and watch the displayed video. And if you want to support the channel, feel free to check out the other videos on the channel. That helps me a lot and you can learn a lot here. Win-win situation. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, guys.